Calls for action are growing today. This is weeks after the death of Marvin Scott III while he was in custody in the Collin County Jail. Andre Lucia gets us underway with our top story at five. This has been very traumatic for our, uh, our family. Um, More than a month after the death of Marvin Scott, his mother still struggles to understand what happened. We don't know any details. We haven't seen anything. All is hearsay. Allen police arrested Scott March 14th for possessing a small amount of marijuana. He was taken to the Collin County Jail, where the sheriff's office confirms he was restrained, pepper sprayed, and had a spit mask placed on his face. Within hours, he was dead. Seven detention officers were later fired, though the sheriff has not detailed what specific policies they violated. Today, the family sat down with Collin County prosecutors to push for criminal charges against anyone involved. The meeting lasted more than an hour. The family's attorney said they left here feeling hopeful, but still desperately in need of answers. We watch around the country as other young black men are murdered by officers. Body cams and videos are released within 35 hours. So 35 days is not acceptable. The Collin County NAACP says it's joined in calling for the release of any video of Scott's confinement. The sheriff's office, though, says an investigation is in the hands of the Texas Rangers, who, quote, have expressly requested the video and other documents not be released while there is a pending criminal investigation. But the law allows law enforcement agencies to keep that information from going public. Attorney Pete Schulte says the decision is ultimately up to the discretion of individual agencies and that the Texas Rangers have a history of holding back, untouched by calls for transparency. I mean, those state police, they don't have the same uh, pressure from elected officials that local police departments have. In McKinney, Andrea Lucia. CBS 11 News. And of note, no criminal charge has been filed with the Collin County DA's office. A spokesperson did refer us to the Texas Rangers, and the Rangers have not responded to our request for a comment.